But where's my boots taking me today? Right? It's always a question. It's right here at this big bridge. Now you see, I just made it through this tunnel. Safe and sound. But sometimes you can get through something like this. Now this is kind of like a tunnel, right? It's a covered bridge. Not an easy way out of there. About like a tunnel underground. You get yourself halfway in there or on a railroad track somewhere, <laughs> you're going to be in trouble. Here comes some more traffic. Let me back up out of the way. Now, why am I mentioning that? Because some people are going to get themselves in trouble with shed wars. We've got people not following the rules already, and we haven't even started the season yet right <laughs> I have a feeling they'll they'll get halfway through the season and find themselves in the world to hurt now this is one of my favorite places let's tell you what let's go down here and I'll do a little something for you fun see that red bud right there that's a pretty red bud we'll go down here somewhere along the river bank I'll talk to you not about the rules, though, or maybe just a little bit. Y'all have to pardon the mess along the way here. We just got done with some ice storms, and we just got done with some tornadoes. So uh, Alabama's not the tiniest state, and I've got a lot to clean up. Y'all bear with me. Here's a little something on the trail I thought I'd share with you folks. You see all that water coming down. Got a lot of water to get rid of in this state. All throughout the southeast. Oh, it's awful pretty. You can see where all the debris piled up there. Look what I found along the way here. Found Bigfoot. Bigfoot done left his tracks in here. We'll go up there. Well, we're underneath that bridge now. And you can see that right there looks pretty sturdy for this lightweight bridge. Now, that looks like the right way. But look over here. This is uh, a little skinny. <laughs> First time I've noticed that. I think they need to get some more uh, concrete put back in there. Concrete and rocks. Let me get uh, to the subject of this. Uh, Shed Wars. Shed Wars 21. Thank you all so much for joining us with this. There are some of you that are not following the rules. And uh, we've got some people still making videos and they're not supposed to i just saw several today uh one that was just put out today it's not even time got people that are still not titling their videos correctly go see john's channel will it grow to find the rules ask me if you have any questions leave a comment down below this video and i'll get you the answer no problem don't Keep going if you have any questions or don't understand. Um, I wanted to clear something up because I'm seeing people that are getting confused. And it has to do with our collaboration of Shed Wars 21 and the Single Seed Challenge 2021 that's put out by Scott Head at Black Gumbo Gardening. Um... It's two separate things. Uh, there's people that think that we have a single seed challenge going on as part of Shed Wars. We do not. Um, we don't at all. That is a fantastic collaboration that Scott Head puts on. And uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm going to put his face right here, right on top of my hand. Just going to put Scott right there. That's who you need to go find, Scott Head. 
uh, for the Single Seed Challenge 21. I've got an entry and several other people do too. It's a great thing to find, but it's not part of Shed Wars, okay? Um, and I'm seeing where people are getting confused. They're seeing parts of the videos, not watching all of the video, or watching it too fast, and they're missing stuff. There's been several people already confused by that. Um, they're, they're seeing me and uh, other people that are in Shed Wars, and they think that that's the only content we've got. No. Uh, the Single Seed Challenge is something else. Now, let's see. I hope y'all are enjoying the scenery here in this little gorge. Real pretty place. What I wanted to update you on was the uh, Gladiator Challenge and where we stand. Now, for those of you who are new and don't understand about the Gladiator Challenge, it's neat little things that we pop up throughout the season to add extra weight and add a little extra fun to the competition. Now, right now, the active season is going on. It's in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, and they have had several of our Gladiator Challenges behind them now. We've actually got a total of six behind us. And in that total, Team Down Under... Uh, has got a total of 80 points for those. Um, so far, Southern Cross has got a total of 60 points. The winners of these uh, Gladiator Challenges will get 20 extra pounds. I said points earlier. 20 extra pounds added to the weight of their team. And these pounds add up. As you can see, that's 80 pounds for one team right there. Now, the last challenge wound up with a tie. And that tie was uh, between Jandera of Team Down Under and uh, Stone the Crows of, of uh, uh, um, Team Southern Cross. I'd like to give those folks a hand. It was, there were so many great entries. And we had to narrow it down to, to, to those two. We couldn't make up our minds on it. Now what that means is if there's a tie, it comes back to us up here in the Southern Hemisphere, John, Mark, and myself, to make the next challenge for the folks down there in the Southern Hemisphere. So I've got an idea, and mine is about resourcefulness I'm going to tell you about that in just a minute it's all about resourcefulness there's an old saying use it up wear it out make it do or do without and instead of it just being right there at my place thought maybe I'd give y'all a look around yep I'll see you back at my place in a minute on the way out Found something kind of neat here. Thought that was worth sharing. Hey, you see that pretty fella right there and you know where we are. Back at my place now. Tell you what. Coming up out of that canyon, I worked up an appetite. Look what I got here. What you got right there is what people that ain't from here is going to call southern fried chicken now here i'm in southern so we just call it chicken <laughs> let me eat this and i'm going to show you what to do with it or what i'll do with it well now we're back over here at the grave of lemon pepper right the rotisserie chicken that i put the bones in here to let the fire ants gnaw away on and strip the bones from the flesh and all that kind of good stuff right or flesh from the bones because i'm going to make bone char out of that and uh so the chicken that i have today those chicken bones there now y'all don't call me out on that little bit of uh stuff right there 
couldn't get to that. But those bones, I'm going to let the, let the fire ants take and clean that off of there. And uh, then they're going to put it in the fire. Now, you don't have to take this extra step, okay? If you want to make your own bone char, you get you a fire going. And, and it doesn't matter whether it's got meat on it or not. Because the fire is going to take care of that for you. <laughs> if you're like me, you can take half the meat off the bone when you cook it yourself. <laughs> Set the fire alarms off in the neighbor's house, right? <laughs> but... Uh, that's, I, I just wanted to do this as an experiment to see how good it would clean them and how long it took. Um, and I'll check back in. And I'm going to be adding more to this. But it's the idea of resourcefulness. Okay? What are you doing to make the most of your resources? Um, and do you have any unusual ways of going about doing that? Now... We don't want to get silly about it and, you know, any kind of silly, ridiculous thing. We're talking about serious um, reusing, repurposing of your resources. Um, how do you compost your scraps? Uh, do you have an unusual way of doing that? Do you have a good way to turn everything as much on your property or the things that you buy into something useful, your resourcefulness. Uh, when you spend a dollar, how many uses out of that dollar you get? You know, uh, I'd like to see uh, who can can uh, make their resources go the furthest. Now, I showed you in a couple episodes ago that I bought that rotisserie chicken, and it had that little clamshell that 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 they come in. I'm going to use that clamshell to start seeds in. Um, I've already bought the chicken, so I paid for that. I ate two meals off of that chicken, and now I've got something that I can start seeds in. It makes a perfect uh, little seed starter. It's, it's, it's a little enclosed dome. Now, that's what I'd like to see. Any kind of thing where you're taking your food items, you know, whatever it is, um, and, and being resourceful. Now, the way we'll do it is uh, this is for the Southern Hemisphere only. This is a gladiator challenge for the Southern Hemisphere. Okay? Team Down Under and Team Southern Cross. All of you folks, whoever wants to participate in this, let's see your ideas for resourcefulness. Um, today is Friday you know, here up in the Northern Hemisphere in Alabama, where I'm at. And um, we're going to let this, this Gladiator Challenge go until next Friday night, our time, um, like 12 midnight or whatever. And uh, everybody put your videos up. And we'll vote on it. Now, here's the thing. Everybody in Shed Wars is going to get to vote on this. Doesn't matter whether you're in the Southern Hemisphere or the Northern Hemisphere. If you are in Shed Wars. Now, our active season up here in the Northern Hemisphere is only a couple of days away. But we'll be into this and everything and you qualify for voting. All you have to do is go to Will It Grow? and go to his community page, he's going to have a poll set up uh, and uh, have all of the entry videos there. Uh, you can vote for the one that you think is the most resourceful. Uh, which one do you think, um, out of all the videos, is, is making the most of their resources? And, and that's it. You know, the one with the most votes uh, wins. And whoever wins gets 20 pounds to their team. Now, um, if you've got any questions, please leave me in the com leave them in the comments for me, and uh, I'll get back to you. But uh, till then, see you next time. Southern Hemisphere, good luck. This is your gladiator challenge. Uh, be resourceful. Who can do the best at it? We'll see you.